Hey guys, it's Husto7 here with another Nazi Zombies video. Today I'm going to be showing you where all of the perks location, as well as how to turn on the power, and how to pack a punch for the Nazi Zombies map Shingrela or Temple. Now it's important to know with this map that perks can be in one of two locations. They'll always spawn in either of those two locations, but it is important to notice that they're not going to necessarily be the same way every time. The exception is Quick Revive, which can be found in the starting area inside this little abandoned ruins. Now again, from the starting area, the first two perks we're going to deal with are going to be Speed Cola and Juggernaut. This is one of the locations for either of these perks. Come through the mud room and right on this wall. Now again, sometimes Juggernaut will spawn here and I'll show you where the other possible spawn for this perk machine is. From the starting area again, this time we're going to want to move right. Through the spikes and you'll notice the Juggernaut machine here. Now starting from the middle area again, we're going to head down to our right again, past the Juggernaut machine that we just visited. There'll be a door here to open and into this cavern. Continue opening doors and moving all the way through. You'll notice the sign for the power to the right, and this is one of the potential spawns for Double Tap Root Beer. The other perk that potentially can spawn here is Stamina, and the other location for this is right through this cavern to the left. Continuing up the stairs, we'll come into this water wheel room. This is where you turn the power on. Note that in this map there are two switches to throw on either side of the statue. Down here in the water is a potential spawn for Deadshot Daiquiri. Moving out of the water room, Maybe if I we'll come to the other potential spawn for these perks, and where in my map PhD Flopper is. Great, out of money. Maybe if I beg. Now, when you're ready to pack, what you need to do is find the pressure plate that's associated with the spinning statue. If you notice on the floor, I stand on a pressure plate, and you'll hear an audible noise. You'll notice that the statue will stop spinning. There are four different pressure plates. Depending on the number of players, a pressure plate needs to be pushed by each one of the players. So in solo, I only need to push one. After I have the pressure plate pushed, I can run back to the starting area where the stairs was and the entrance of the temple. The stairs will be raised and the pack punch will be at the top. It's also important to notice that I can only be up here for a limited time. Once the gears on the sides of the stairs get up to the top, a waterfall will come over and wash me down. Make sure you grab your weapon before this happens. Now I'll show you this from another perspective to also show off another pressure plate. There is a pressure plate right by Quick Revive in the abandoned ruins right where you start off. You'll notice I stand on this pressure plate, hear the noise, and you'll see the stairs raise. As I mentioned earlier, there are four pressure plates. I've showed you two of them. The last two, one is located in the cavern on the way to the uh, power. The other is located past the bridge on the way down to the waterfall. They should be pretty easy to find, just look for the spinning statue. That's all. Good luck. Feel free to like, favorite, and subscribe.